Why don't I show you a way you can make an affordable microphone, such as this Anchor one, sound even better. Right here I have OBS Open, which stands for Open Broadcaster Software, and if you don't know about this tool already, it's completely free, and it's fantastic for streaming gameplay, recording gameplay. What I'm gonna do now though, is add my microphone as a source. So I'm gonna go into my settings, go to audio, and then for one of my microphone devices, select the drop down, and then select Anchor. And as you can see, my audio is coming through into the mixer at a good level. And that's because I've set my gain on this microphone to about halfway. So not too soft where it's kind of hard to hear me and not too loud to where it's just like blasting your ears. One thing that I can do to monitor my audio in real time is select the settings icon, go to advanced audio properties, and then under audio monitoring, I can select monitor and output. And now I'll be able to hear what I sound like through the microphone in OBS. To begin making my voice sound better and removing any background noise that might be in my environment, I'm going to go to my settings and then go to filters and within here we're going to select this plus button and then the first thing we're going to want to add is a noise suppression filter. Select OK and you can use the RN noise method which is fine. It uses very little of your CPU resources and it's very effective. Next up we're going to go and click the plus button again and we're going to add an expander. Select OK, and we're going to have our ratio set between 1.5 to 4. That's pretty good. Attack, we'll have that set to 2 milliseconds. Release will be 100. Output gain, we can leave that at 0. And the threshold up here, just make sure that you have that set all the way to the left. We're going to add another filter here, and that's going to be the compressor. Our ratio here, we're going to set that also to 2. Attack, we're going to have that at 2 milliseconds. Release, we're gonna have that at 100 as well. And now our microphone will have a smoother opening and closing sound whenever we speak into it. Now next, I'm gonna need to see my audio levels here, and we're gonna increase the output gain quite a bit. And now if this is the softest that you'll speak ever into the microphone, you wanna make sure that that's in the yellow. So with this mic, I'm cool setting that to about a seven, but you can see we are peaking quite a lot. And just start decreasing this threshold until we are barely peeking into the red. Now when we talk really soft, we're still being picked up by the microphone, but not peeking. The next audio filter I'm gonna add is a VST graphic equalizer plugin interface. So I know that was kind of a, a lot of words there and confusing, I'm sure. Here I can control my low tones at the bottom, mid tones in the middle, and my high tones on the right. One of the easiest things you can do is just go to presets, select brighter and bassy, activate. You can see that the preset applied to your graphic equalizer. All you need to do now is just listen to your voice and then just adjust to what you think your voice should sound like. I'm pretty comfortable keeping mine like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the plugin interface now. You can download this plugin for Mac or Windows completely for free on this site here. The last filter we wanna add here is the limiter filter. Select OK, and here we can set the threshold to ensure that our audio levels never peak. So I'm quite comfortable setting this to about eight. So now no matter how loud I get, it's not peaking heavily into the red. Here's what the Anchor microphone sounds like without any filters applied whatsoever. And here's what the microphone sounds like with all those filters that we just applied in OBS. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. My final two cents is that at the price point of this Anchor microphone, it sounds really good, especially for the fact that you can add filters in programs such as OBS to make your microphone sound even better. It looks really cool with the lights. It has a great form factor to make it easily transportable. My thing is that I just wish it had a physical gain dial so that I could keep my sound at that audio level instead of having to set it every time that I plug it into a different power source. It would have also been really nice if this microphone came with a pop filter because sometimes speaking directly into the microphone, you hear those price desk open came talk with the in your words. I'm gonna leave it there for you guys. If you wanna check out the tools or the products that I showed in this video, check the links in the description below. And if you wanna learn more about OBS at more of a beginner level, check the video out on screen now. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.